The value in Genetics Australia is probably in that they're an Australian company. They're breeding for Australians, Australia's uh, climate and you know, that's, that's the most important thing. That's where we're farming. So We're probably in marginal dairy country, so we need animals that suit the conditions. G'day, I'm Eddie Kanar. Uh, I farm out the Sisters in southwest Victoria. Uh, we milk 800 three-way crosses here, Jersey, Friesian, Holstein. Stony Rises, Black Flats. Yeah, our farm's fairly spread out, so we need cows that can walk, don't get lame. So that's where probably Genetics Australia comes in. We've been working with Genetics Australia for probably onwards of 40 years, and yeah, we'll probably keep that relationship going, going forward. The three-way cross is, we're finding a lot healthier animal than we've been in the past. We find them, we're get, getting less mastitis, they've got healthier legs, and they're, they're fertile, and we're not losing any of the production benefits. Of, they're doing uh, over, they're about 110% uh, body weight to, pro, to production, or milk solids, so, and that's yeah, where we want to be. Uh, you know, breeding over the years, we probably started with a Holstein base maybe 20 years ago. Uh, we're having a lot of health problems, mastitis, lameness. Uh, so we decided to cross to a Jersey. Um, had good results with that and then got to a point where we needed to decide what we did going forward. So we introduced uh, the Aussie Reds. Uh, so as a result of that, We've got a lot healthier herd, um, good walkers, good fertility, really good components, good production, um, and we're really happy with them. Yeah, as far as fertility is concerned, we do an off-sync program. Um, we basically, every cow gets two chances to be mated within a four week period so it keeps our calving compact and yeah that's uh, the way we like it. The cow we've got now is a fertile cow. Combine that with semen fertility which is really strong. Um, yeah we're achieving over 70 percent, 77 percent six week in calf rate. Uh, we like to have the whole herd calf within eight to ten weeks um, and I can only see us improving that as time progresses and the fertility just keeps on improving. We're right in the middle of calving, or oh, past the middle of calving now. Uh, I've calved down 600 in about five weeks and yeah, a couple hundred to go. Um, should be done in another three weeks. When you look at how our bulls are selected, they are selected for BPI, which is for profitability. So really randomly sampled, you are getting the best of the best. Generally, when you look at genetic gain across the world, your next generation always typically ends up higher than the proven bulls of today. So I think it's very easy for someone like Eddie, who is all of, well, generally all about profit, that he is picking the next generation that is the most profitable bulls to, to work with. When you can get a profitable herd, that enables you to invest in technology, infrastructure, which is yeah, the, what we aim for. Genetics Australia, we've had a strong relationship for, for 40 years or so. Um, yeah, they've always been progressive with slyer selection, so we've had no hesitation in continuing our involvement with the PT program. And probably our breeding objectives are just a healthy, robust animal that can produce. It's pretty simple. We just on cows that can get in calf, limited health problems, calf easy. Yeah, going forward, I think that'll only improve through genomics and all the breeding that Gen Genetics Australia are putting in. Going forward, we, yeah, it's all heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm.